my favors don't come for free. Give me some of me. You carrying product in the car with Mama and Nikki? You know, rich they worth the reward. I'm trying to put BMF all over. Oh, uh, yeah. What's going on, fam? It's your man, VKJ. And yes, I'm back with another video. This is for BMF Season 2, Episode 2. This is the recap. And fam, this definitely is a great start to a great season for BMF. I'm telling you right now, a lot of actions, a lot of setups. Oh, yeah. We definitely going to get into this and definitely break it down. <laughs> So the name of this episode is Family Business, and it reads, Meech focuses on expanding BMF into Cleveland while Terry experiences growing pains as he launches his car ride business. With Charles, Terry learns Meech could be in danger. So K-9, family, let me tell you something. This man right here is big business. He is teaching Meech the game, teaching Meech about, you know, his yields and diversifying his yields and absolutely starting businesses and making sure that the money is watched so yes they are definitely piling it up they are absolutely doing big business and yes i believe k9 definitely likes meech and how meech is doing business at the same time with every relationship there are enemies and yes now meech has enemies because k9 has enemies right k9's enemy is now trying to shoot up k9 and meech and everybody there at the dairy queen as they're trying to get their food on get their ice cream on and yeah your boy k9's blasting away trying to catch this cat but they eventually do catch up with him at the same time yeah terry's in business with his father charles and charles it seems like he's just being dad and he's not really being a business partner and telling terry that he can't wear a chain that he needs to wear a suit if he wants to be successful he wants to keep it a clean christian car riding business and at the same time terry's not really feeling what's going on how charles is not acting like a partner he's acting more like a dad he's acting more like a dictator and terry's not feeling that at all even though it was his money that got the business started and charles did convince him to do it yeah he's telling t put that chain away we're not running a game you know on the street it needs to be a respectable business yeah terry really he's not feeling it but at the same time he's throwing cats out of his car right anybody get smart with terry he's throwing you out detective brian is still riding on b mickey's head and he's like listen man you better give me something on meech he is really obsessed with bringing down meech and at the same time, he's telling them that he could take care of his mother, help him take care of his mother, get her in a better facility and everything else like that. But his favors don't come without a price. So he wants more on Meech, wants to find out where the next drop is and be Mickey. Yes, he is going to fold because he's looking out for his mother. So yes, Meech is in big trouble. Meech is in big trouble. You got Bryant. Uh, you got all these people coming after K-9, which is also coming after Meech. So Meech got a lot on his hands. But today is the day that Meech is going to go over the house. He sees Nicole and he's going to take Nicole and Mama to see Grandma because it's, it's her birthday. So Meech is like, listen, I'm going to take the whole hood to see coming to America. At the same time, he sits down with Terry and tells Terry that's what he's going to do. Terry is like, listen, I know you got some ulterior motives. Why are you going to Cleveland? You know, you don't show up for family dinners. He's like, listen, I'm going to go down there and holler at our cousin. He's like, how are you going to holler at your cousin? Like, you don't even like the dude. He said, listen, man, you know, that was back in the day. I'm going to set up shop out there with BMF and the whole nine. And he's like, you know, Terry's concerned. He's like, yo, you're going to take work in the car with you, with mama and Nikki. He's like, nah, of course I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go down there. Talk to my cousin, set up, and I'm going to have B. Mickey go down there and take the work down there. All right. So Terry's hearing all of this stuff. And he's like, oh, that's kind of risky. He's like, I don't care what you think. Now Terry goes to the insurance spot, of course, to see Markeisha. And he sent some clients to Markeisha. He's happy to see him. He's like, call me T. He's like, yeah, that orchid is still dying or whatever, whatever. So he's asking a question about his insurance. And she's like, yeah, you know, you need somebody without a record, somebody trustworthy. But... 
He's like, yeah, I'm really trying to pop off the business. And she's putting them on the game and letting them know, listen, you need to go to the airports and pick up some good clients. So he takes the opportunity to say, hey, how about you come with me to the candy store to get some good candy and some good stuff. And she's putting him on to how to speak to clients, not saying what up, though, but actually talking in a professional manner. Meanwhile, we see Charles and Lucille and they are going at it because she found some dirty, dirty, nasty magazines in his guitar case while she was cleaning up. At the same time, you know, she's been holding some stuff back from Charles. So Charles is doing what he has to do. So your boy T goes to the airport. He definitely is taking the advice of Markeisha and he has the candy and everything else like that. So he goes down to the Detroit City Airport and the guard out there is just trying to charge all the drivers money to be on the curve to wait for you know potential clients at the same time he's not going to pay anybody he's mad about that but he is looking for some business class people you know brothers with suits on and everything else like that so he does find a guy with a suit on says hey you need a ride he's like yeah i'm going to the north side he's like that's all right just come on in and he gets more people to go into the car with him and he really has a great idea to take, you know, people to these underserved uh, areas of Detroit and they'll get more clients that way. But Charles has a different idea. He wants to put somebody else on. He puts his coworker on as the third driver. He really doesn't like the idea. Now, back in Cleveland, yeah, your boy Meech and his cousin, his cousin puts some more to, you know, the corner boys out there. And yeah, you know, they sell a little weed or whatever, but you know, Meech is like, listen, I got that white, I got that lady, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I can put you on and, you know, my product is better than your boys and everything else like that. He said, listen, man, you can step on it three times and you can make, you know, whoever your supplier is, your bitch, right? <laughs> so Meech is definitely spitting game and they're like, yo, what you talking about? It's like, yo, I'm a businessman, let's talk business. So they're open to what Meech has to say. He's like, yo, I'm from the D, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get all that stuff out here. I got that good product. So looking at each other like, yo, we need to check this dude out. And yeah, you know, Meech's cousin is putting them on. So Meech's cousin is vouching for him. So they're going to test out the waters and see what goes down. Now, again, he's in Cleveland. He's not in the D. So because he's not in the D, he doesn't really know these cats. But these cats are definitely trying to see what's going on. Your boy Lamar wakes up, takes off his stuff. The guard outside comes in and he takes out the guard, strangles the guard, and he gets away. We already know that Lamar is up to no good. Now that he's a little better, but he's not at full strength. At the same time, we got Detective Jen and Brian, and she's trying to put him on to some real Chinese food. You know, Brian doesn't know any better. He's like, yo, man, I'm looking for some like, you know, some, you know, fried shrimp and all this and that. And, you know, she's really trying to put them on and they are really getting close. You know, we're going to see where this goes as far as their relationship. Meanwhile, Meech is still in Cleveland. And yes, his cousin works for a videotape store. That's right. A VHS. And he's setting it up where, yeah, they could sell the product out of the VHS store. So whenever people ask. Just ask for the deluxe version and they can get that white, right? So here we go with the party for grandma and yeah, everybody's having a good time. Celebration is playing. And yeah, you know, Mama Lucille's looking over and here comes Meech and his cousin and they in here celebrating as well. But she's looking at them like, yo, this looks suspicious. Like, why is Meech all smiling and happy and all this and that? She doesn't really feel it. At the same time, Beat Mickey was supposed to take the product down but B. Mickey's nowhere to be found. He's dealing with Brian. So Terry goes to the store, gets the product, right? And puts it into the baby formula and brings it out there. He goes to a whole bunch of checkpoints with his baby mama and the baby. And Meech, you know, he don't really care about that. He's like, yo, I ain't asked you to do all that, man. I thought you was doing a driving thing. Like, you can't be in and out, you know, dipping in and out of the business. So, of course, <laughs> Meech doesn't appreciate it. But Terry's like, yo, that's your way of saying thank you. I see what's going on. So they have one of the canisters missing. It was supposed to be baby formula. So Mama Lucille takes the product and is about to serve the baby with that white. They stop her from doing that and they get the product, right? So now here comes Meech. He takes it to the Cleveland boys. They test it out and they're like, yo, this is the real deal. 
but the head of the Cleveland boys is like, yo, we changing, we changing the negotiations, we're changing, you know, the percentage. I want more now. And he's like, yo, that's that's the way it is. So he's trying to punk Meech, right? And all those boys is there, and Meech is only there with his cousin. He's like, oh, that's how y'all get down? All right, I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna see you. Again, you know, Charles is really not talking to T about the business. He's just pretty much dictating what's going on. And T is not feeling that at all. He's really not feeling that at all. So what does Meech do? Meech finds the leader of the Cleveland boy's mama and finds his house. She's bringing in the groceries. He's like, oh, let me help you with that. <laughs> so he knows that's dude's house. And the mama introduces him to the Cleveland leader. He's like, oh, oh what's, up? what's going on, man? Right, so Mama leaves and he tries to attack Meech and Meech pulls out the strap, of course. He's like, yeah, so being that you into surprises, man, I want that white girl back. And for now on, my cousin gonna run point on everything. You understand what's going on? And if I find out that things is shady, you know, your mama gonna be serving you up with some meatballs and, you know, pretty much I'm gonna come back here to really, you know, test your gangster, <laughs> all right? So B. Mickey gives up a location as to where he believes that Meech is gonna be. So Detective Brian is like, yeah, we're gonna get the task force. We're gonna run up in there and we're gonna get Meech. So they run up in an apartment and some dude tries to jump out the window. He breaks his leg and nah, Meech ain't there. Meanwhile, Meech does go back to K-9, brings him his money. They up in there gambling, got some dude talking real loud. And of course, K-9's like, yo, you gotta watch cats like that. They talking loud and being all boisterous. This dude has K-9's girl blow on his dice. Real disrespectful. You already know K-9 gonna deal with that. So K-9's happy because Meech brings all his money. He's like, listen, I need to show something to you. So what does he show to him? Yeah, we found that guy that was shooting at us at the Dairy Queen. I found Mr. Cinderella because he dropped his shoe. And there he is. They took him out, took care of him. He's like, yo, man, uh, anybody disrespect, we just demonstrate, right, who we are. Meanwhile, Lamar's out there struggling in the rain, still hurting. He falls on the ground. And who shows up? Yeah, Lamar's cousin. Who is that? <laughs> it's comedian Donnell Rollins is playing the cousin of Lamar. I tell you, there's a whole lot of comedians up in this bad boy right here, right? So here we go. B. Mickey goes to the place to check on his mama. Your boy, Detective Brian, shows up. He's like, listen, man, you know, not bad. Meech wasn't there, but here's some information. We're going to move your mom to a better facility, a high-tech facility. He's like, yo, listen, man, nobody's ever done this for me, man. Nobody's ever done this, right? Especially a cop. He's like, well, it is what it is. We family now. So B. Mickey owes him everything. He got him locked down. So meanwhile, back at the shop, your boy Meech is straightening things out. Said, listen, I'm the one you take orders from when I'm not here. Get at B. Mickey. Back at the house, we got Mama Lucille. And she's wearing some real nice lingerie. And she's looking real right. You know what I'm saying? So Charles comes in there. He's like, you like? He's like, yeah, I like it a lot. She's like, thank you. And then he breaks out and says, did you buy that with the credit card you opened up in Nikki's name? And she's like, well... You know, I was just trying to look good for you because you're looking at those dirty magazines and everything else like that. You know, what do you want me to do? He's like, you know, I wish that you like me and love me the way that I love you. And she's like, we used to be peas in the pod. And, you know, he's like, listen, you violating the law by messing up Nikki and her history and what's going to happen with her future. And she's like, you broke the vows. And she's like, listen, I'm tired. And Charles is like, listen. That makes the both of us, and he walks out. Yeah, it looks like they're not going to be together for a minute. So here we go. At the movie theater, trying to see Coming to America, Meech approaches Terry like, yo, man, you ain't go to the spot, and you got cats confused as to who the leader is. You know, you dipping back and forth. You can't dip back and forth in this thing. So they fight in the movie theater, and Terry's like, yo, I did you a favor, man. You know, if I ain't bring that product through to the checkpoints, man, like Saki would have got arrested, and you would have lost everything. He's like, yo, man, stay out the business. You ain't in the business, stay out the business. So they fight and they separate. And he said, yeah, you know, with a separation comes definitely everybody attacking. And that's what we're waiting for, right? What's going to happen with Lamar? Is Lamar coming back to attack? We shall see in the upcoming episodes of BMF Season 2. Family, 
yeah this is definitely a great setup episode we see the power of k9 we see terry we see marquisha getting close and we definitely see Meech expanding bmf family let me know drop your comments below as to what you believe is going to happen in the next episodes listen if you're finding me for the first time go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button i really appreciate you guys for watching drop your comments below let me know your predictions your thoughts your theories and we're going to keep this thing going fam i appreciate you all for watching and until next time salute